Hey Aurelia and welcome back to the podcast. Thank you so much. It's so nice that we've moved offices. I know, yes. right? The we're last growing. time we spoke, <laughs> the last time we spoke, we had like a little mic, and now we've we've grown, 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 guys. <laughs> growth is beautiful, and growth yes. during a pandemic is absolutely exceptional. Oh my gosh! And we need to talk about that because yeah. the pandemic was a, a lot, lot. <laughs> <laughs> literally a lot. Exactly. I think all of us understand what we mean. It's a we lot. Say, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So it's been about two years since we spoke yes. and um, just last week you were on the net bank round table um, just talking about money hacks so yeah you shared a lot so today obviously we're going to talk about money hacks we're going to talk about the fact that you know the year is ending yes. and maybe let's how can we think of goals that we can look forward to towards the end of the year um, so before that um, just for the audience before we started um, recording the podcast we took a little quiz. Yes, a money quiz. We took a money quiz to find out your financial archetype. Okay. So the quiz is offered by NetBank. It's offered on Money Edge. So the quiz basically tells you your money personality, right? Yeah. Um, I took it too, so I know my <laughs> results. Uh, but your results are also quite interesting. Yes, but they were, they were so on point. Um, really? So my, my, yeah. my archetype is the carer. The carer, so, yes. I completely agree. Yeah. I have I need to have a better relationship with money mm. and it's one of those things where I believe in authenticity yeah. and just being honest. So I'm honest about my failures when it comes to money. Yeah. And just always and, and also quite vulnerable to say I don't know how to do this. Mm. I the goal is financial stability. Yes. And so I don't have I think one of the things that uh, people always think is like okay, well, what's that one number? Like, okay, if you have this number, yeah. you know, and then you're done. I don't have that number. I also don't have that number. Actually. Yeah. I, I can relate to that. Yeah, I don't have mm. that number because I feel like, especially with life and mm. everything is always fleeting, that like your your um, idea of the life that you want or the level that you li- of the life that you want is always like a moving goalpost. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. I, I fully agree with that and I can relate to that too. I mean, with everything, whether it's money, whether it's, it could be, be your, your physical fitness goals, yes, it could be yes. your career. Once you get to the next goal post, th- first, firstly, the circumstances around you change. Yeah. Um, but also you as a person, you change and you evolve and you Absolutely. grow. What you liked last year may not be what you like, what you like now yeah. and what you want for your life yeah. can also change over, over there. So yeah, I agree with like not necessarily always having to have, if you do, that's great, yes. but not always having to have that one number that yes. one final thing exactly because then that's what i'll always work for so it's yeah. just aiming for financial stability yes. in whichever level of the life that i'm in exactly i just yes. don't struggle <laughs> <laughs> you know that's the goal so that's, so that's what we want to get yeah. to here okay so my my archetype was the gifter mm-hmm. and one of one of uh, my uh, downfalls as a gifter is that um I may not necessarily save as well as I should because I'm always gifting. Yes. I think it also has to do with my um, little. I have I have introverted tendencies. I'm like I think I'm an ambivert. So I've, Me too. Oh really? It's, a, it's, it's the weirdest thing. I yes. Found, I found out later in life that I'm actually an ambivert. Yeah, yeah, because I can be extroverted, but generally I also I I, I my my energy is fueled when I'm alone. Yeah. So because I like I prefer to spend time alone. I think that might have to do with why I'm a bit of I'm more of a gifter. Okay. I'd rather like gift. Okay. Like for me, my time is a gift actually. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so I like to gift whether it's time, financially or anything. Yes. So yeah, that quiz was spot on for me too. Um, I'm glad we agree with that. We agree because I mean, even yeah. when I was taking it, I was like, I, we spoke earlier about yes. how. You, you buy gifts because you just want to see how excited yes. a person is. And then you get disappointed when a person's not as excited. Because yeah. you want to say, oh, no, they didn't take a lot. Then they lost it. Yes, then, then you like know, you don't know what I took to get you. Absolutely. Yeah. Don't so what are you going to do for Christmas? Because Miss Gifts. I know. No, it's a problem. It's a problem. And <laughs> I, 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 I tend to not know when to stop. Okay. That's definitely my biggest problem. But I think, um, like, with what the, what the quiz gives you um, ways to remedy. Yeah. Um, the, 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 it's not all bad. Yes, but yes, some yes. of the things that aren't great or that can yeah. be improved um, is just planning better. Yes. So I think my plan for Christmas will probably be to set a budget for each person that I'm buying a gift Absolutely. for. Absolutely. And put that money in a separate account yep. so that it's, I think also having access to money, like, put in a separate account yep. so that I can only use not that. Not even a separate account. So... I bank with me bank <laughs> and I've been yeah. banking with them um, I think since I got my degree actually yeah so one of the things and the nice thing is that they always like 
evolving and also mm. changing with you. So one, the money tracker thing, which is like yes, the, the money tracker. I even spoke about on the on the thing on the, on the round, round table, table that mm. I've always had like this uh, fear of money. Like you know, like even like with now starting a business, yeah. I'm like I no I, no. What do I charge? And I charge mm. way below what I should be charging because mm. there's the carer element. Yes. Um. So even when we are talking about the the the, the information and the advice they give yeah. you, that they t- they show you how to actually switch things up. Yes. So with yes. the saving element, uh, like with my auntie, I from the time that uh, January mm-hmm. I put in one of the pockets, yeah. I put money there for her so that I'm saving because obviously when she's now going mm-hmm. home, she also needs a bit of a bonus. Mm-hmm. And it wouldn't be fair that I've been struggling and not getting yeah. the salary, but she's still there supporting me at home and mm-hmm. you know making sure that my kids are well taken care of. You don't want your circumstances to impact Absolutely. her financial well-being. Absolutely. So yes. it, it assists with that. It assists with seeing, um, you know, seeing those things and also an emergency fund. An emergency fund. <laughs> so when COVID started, I lost my job and I had to yeah. use my emergency fund. And that's when I learned like I, my emergency fund needs an emergency fund. Oh my and gosh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's one of those things. And also just to have um, a comfortable and an open and a transparent relationship with yeah. your banker because I said mm, to him, mm. I'm in financial crisis. I know that for as long as I've been working, I've been investing somewhere. Mm. I've been putting money. There's been debit orders going to some investment, you know. And so what are my options, yeah, you know, and, yeah. and, and funny enough, when you're educated and you're, you, you know, you're in a better position to, to, to view your options and mm. see what you need to do or see where you can take, or take from to just because there's no point in you in financial crisis and there's still debit orders for that investment. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. Yeah. It makes no sense. So it's, 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 it's um, you know, one of the things <laughs> in the quiz was like, do you know how much money you have? And this, yes. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know how much money they yeah. have. Yeah. Um, I used to be scared of finding out how much money I have. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just live your life and you're like, I, I don't want to look at it. Yes. I don't want to look at it. Yes. I know I have some money and I know yes. I can spend, but yes. that's so unhealthy. Yeah. yeah. Like it's not, it's not great. You it's shouldn't be good, doing that. Yeah. You, sh- you need to have an open relationship with your money too. Absolutely. Not just your bank, but with your Absolutely. with your with your own money. Absolutely. Be comfortable enough to just look at your money, face it as Not well. Not be scared of it. Not be scared of it. Don't be like, oh my gosh, I see the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> right? You know, don't yeah. be scared of yourself when you see yes, your money. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, definitely. Yeah. Okay, so one thing I wanna talk about is like setting goals. Yeah. Um tomorrow is a special day for you. We're recording this on Monday, the twenty second. Tomorrow's a special day for you. Yeah. Right? So I don't know if that was one of your goals for the end of the year. For my birthday. Graduation. My gradu- oh, yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Did you forget? I forgot. <laughs> so <laughs> Graduation. And yes. that's the thing. So even with, with that program, it came at a time when I was already studying mm. something else. And I got accepted into the acad- Academy for Women Entrepreneurs. Mm-hmm. And it's graduation tomorrow. It's virtual graduation. So maybe oh, that's man. why. It's Congratulations. Like, oh, yes, because it's like it's virtual. <laughs> so you're just like, oh. <laughs> I'll still dress up, you know, it's just who I am. But yeah. um yeah, so that's one of my goals and it's just one of my goals just in in upskilling myself mm. as a, as an entrepreneur. And one of the things I said is that I still believe that I am still aspiring yes. to be an entrepreneur. Um, yes. um I'm not there yet. Yeah. I don't believe I'm there yet. Yes. Um, and again, it is my measure. It is my measure of success. It's my measure of what I would have wanted to achieve within my company mm. or within the campaigns that we do yeah. in, in our business. You I feel know? like you're so, touching on the comparison trap that we sometimes fall into. And you're saying it's my measure. Yes. So you are saying that you're not competing with anyone but yourself. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's about me and my goals. Absolutely. And I think that's a very important thing to do when you are setting goals. Don't set goals based on circumstance of people around you Absolutely. or what other people are doing oh, trying Instagram. to do. Instagram social media yeah. can be oh. but yeah <laughs> I love that you said that because yeah. you you you, comp- you compete against yourself yeah, you have if to. anything I'll compete against yeah. yourself not the next person you Absolutely. have no idea what the circumstances Absolutely. are Absolutely, and, it's, and, it, and it's, it goes back to that it even goes into celebration so yes. you don't know how how hard someone and some some of the things that they've healed or recovered mm. from during that year that's why december is so big for some yes. people and they go out and they want to celebrate because you're not only celebrating that yes you kicked all your goals you're celebrating to be alive yes. you know to be alive yes. and well and still being able mm, you know and still being having the ability 
to come and talk here. Yeah, right. <laughs> having the ability, you know, to live, and and yeah. and I think that's one of the, the the biggest lessons lessons for me. It's been about you actually have to keep celebrating. Mm. Um, Speaking of cele- celebrating and the gift of life itself, mm-hmm. um, you mentioned on the round table that um, your your year starts on your birthday. Yes. And your birthday is on the twenty eighth of October. Yes. So. Um, are there any like new goals that you've set for yourself with this new year definitely. that you're going into? Yeah, definitely. So um, I, w- I wrote them on my birthday. So even with my birthday, what I did, I did something completely different. I told my friends I didn't want something, but they did a surprise later. Friends. But, uh, yeah, another uh, special but case. it was it was, it was really yeah. awesome <laughs> afterwards, you know. But <laughs> what I actually, because I was like, I'm, I've been struggling with sleep. So I did sleep therapy. So I woke up from my house to go sleep. Wow. Uh, sleep <laughs> therapy. At the spa, yeah. So it's like a water bed. And so it gave me, I 